Hey guys, it's Lauren and today I have my best friend Ian here to share with us his great interest in listening to music. You might think that listening to music is a really common hobby, but to Ian this is definitely not something ordinary. Let me tell you, he's basically an addict. He once told me that earphones and music sustain his life, isn't it just ridiculous? But I've never really asked him about this seriously before, so I'm as eager as you guys to know what he is going to say. Now let's welcome my best friend Ian! Hi! Hi! This is how Ian is like. Every time I see him, he has his earphones on, including the first time we met and even today, right before the interview. We met in our literature class and, and you were also having it. I remember that's the last semester, right? <laughs> yeah. And so, I would like to know, have you always been a music lover? Yes, um, I've been always in love with music um, ever since I was a student in elementary school. And starting from that time, um, I've been collecting all kinds of music into my computer and my cell phone and also my MP3. Well, as I know, every music lover has their own favorite kinds of music. So, is there any specific genres that you really found out? Mm, my favorites are Western pop music and K-pop music. But more recently, K-pop music. In the following, I asked Ian how his interest in the genre of pop was established. And we discussed a little about two of his favorite, Western pop and K-pop. Last, he shared a really interesting perspective on music itself and how it really means to him. So when do you start to find pop music interesting? Mm. In elementary school, I would say it's because of the internet, especially YouTube. I nearly all the songs I hear come from YouTube, and I uh, consequently I've been collecting all kinds of songs from that channel. Why this genre appeal to you the most? Is it because of the music itself, or the lyrics, or the association of performances? I think it's because of the lyrics, and uh, and actually lyrics plays an important role. Once we understand the meaning of the lyrics, and we it can bring us closer to the songs. Uh, every time we sing along with it, music becomes closer to us yeah. than classical music, right? <laughs> like you said, you aren't just any pop song lover. You're a big fan of. Western pop and K-pop, and as you just say, especially K-pop now. So, and I'm a big fan of Western pop, but I know, yeah, <laughs> you didn't know that, but I can share that with you later. Oh, okay. But I didn't know much about K-pop, so can you tell me a little about the differences and why you shift a little, not exactly shift, but suddenly found of K-pop more? Yes, yeah, so. so to be honest, from a perspective, I think the K-pop songs um, are catchier than Western pop music. But I'm not saying that Western pop music, pop music um, is not catchy. But you know, if you listen to most of the K-pop songs, you'll find that um, their lyrics are very easy for people to memorize. And they would just repeat a word or even a phrase um, again and again. And you can just you can just very it's very easy to follow the rhythm by this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how about uh, Western pop? Why you suddenly doesn't seem to love that as much, or you still love as much? It's just that K-pop mm -hmm. is a new thing and it's really cool to you. Mm -hmm. K-pop to to me, K-pop is quite a new thing to me. Oh. And but about Western music and actually I quite like the lyrics in the Western music more. Well, during the conversation, Ian didn't really provide sharp answers to why he likes K-pop more than Western pop music now. He still thinks Western pop has its strengths, but somehow K-pop really has all his attention currently. Oh, do you still listen to Western pop now? Uh, yes, I, I'm you still, still do, okay. but not as 
often. But there's one thing I want to know about K-pop, you know. How do you solve the language problem? <laughs> or you just forget about it and enjoy music alone? Actually, I think the latter might be my answer. And <laughs> because, you know, so, so I've never, uh, uh, I've never learned ab uh, anything about Korean. So uh, I cannot understand Korean at all. But music is universal language, right? Yes, music is a universal <laughs> language. I, so, I know. So when I listen to K-pop music, I always care about the rhythm. Yeah. Yes, but the lyrics, of course, I cannot, um, I cannot understand. So. But does this uh, interest makes you want to learn Korean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of my. That's that could be the reason, and because you know, I, I'm, I've been always immersed myself in Korean music, and especially K-pop music. And right now, I've been this. I've, uh, I've decided to you know study Korean in the future, especially maybe you know minor. Last few questions. Okay. It won't be a surprise if your answer is always, but I still really am curious to know how often do you exactly listen to music? Okay, and I listen to those music nearly every day whenever I want. I mean real. Even when you're walking? Yes. Um, um, transportation? Oh really? Shower, Definitely. Shower. Showers of course. Oh. Uh, but you know showers I always sing. I always but you know, if you are showering, you cannot use you know MP3, right? Yeah. So you know, in my but in my mind, I will always repeat a bit that. So you know, just sometimes mm -hmm. sing along with those songs. How about when you're doing homework or study? Do you still listen to them? Oh, um, that's a that's a quite interesting. Uh, I have to tell you that when I'm doing the homework. Or, or writing something, I cannot listen to those K-pop music because you know I'm a, I'm addicted to those music. Yeah. <laughs> if you, if I'm listening to those music while I'm doing the homework, I cannot concentrate on my homework. No, I bet that if you could concentrate, you would definitely listen to music as well. Is that is that is that correct? Yeah, yeah I, I wish I wish I can do that. As you know, so as we all know, Ian, my perfect guest is really a big music lover. So, I would like to know something. What does music really mean to you? Okay, so, to me, music is completely my life. And I cannot, I would say that, I cannot live without it. And I want to mention one thing, because, you know, there's a, there was, there's a period, period of time and my bro my MP3 is broken, <laughs> so <laughs> so during that time I cannot listen to music whenever I want. So I feel like I was I was tortured. Okay, <laughs> I, like. I can totally understand since you already told us so much about you, mm -hmm. I can okay. relate. <laughs> yeah. And um, so if there is one last thing you can share with us. What would you say about music? Actually, I was um, I would say that music is either medicine or dessert. You oh, know? that's so touching. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, sometimes we all feel depressed, right? Yeah. And you know, and music can be the way that to relate can be the way that re that relieve your feelings. And also, for so it's just like medicine. You take it, yes, and then you feel well. So hopefully, yes. and <laughs> wonderful metaphor. I really like. Yes, it. you know. But for desserts, actually, you don't have to listen to those music every time you're sad, and you can listen to them whenever you want. And if you understand the lyric, just like I said before, you can feel the power, and actually, you can taste something good. And for me, you, it's not about only about the pop music. Any yeah. kinds of music, it doesn't matter if it's popular or not. Yeah. Music, just music. It's everything. Ian is really a music lover, and as we all know, music, any kinds of music, can be remedy and delicacy. <laughs> That's all for it.
Thank you so much, Ian. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. <laughs> and let's say goodbye to the audience. Bye-bye.